welcome to this new video tutorial of CyberSource payment extension for the Magento 2 platform and in today's video tutorial I'll be showing you the uh, customer workflow wherein we'll be showing how the customers would be able to make a payment for the orders that they are going to place through your uh, Magento 2 web store apart from that we'll be showing you how the admin would be able to initially configure this uh, particular payment uh, extension from the admin backend panel so that uh, it would uh, be available for the customers at the checkout time and uh, rest of the things as well so uh, before we proceed further let me give you a small gist about this uh, particular extension so basically uh, it integrates cyber source payment acceptance solution within your Magento 2 web store so as to process the card payments securely and the customers of your web store would now be able to make use of their Visa, Mastercard, Amex, Discover, uh, Dino's Club and Card Blank to make the uh, what we say as the payments for the orders that they place uh, within your Magento 2, Magento 2 web store and all the information that, that is uh, sent out from the uh, uh, from the uh, web browser basically uh, is securely transferred from the uh, customer's browser to the CyberSource server and uh, the admin also has uh, the um, uh, functionality uh, wherein the admin would be able to process the refunds very easily. Now let me go ahead and let me take you to the web store front end and uh, we'll be placing an order uh, uh, using the customer's uh, account and thereafter we'll be checking how uh, the admin can basically uh, set up this plugin for use at the front end for his Magento 2 web store. Also, uh, I just uh, forgot to tell you that uh, this particular module supports the uh, SOAP Toolkit API for capturing the payments and for the refunds as well. And uh, basically, uh, this uh, ga uh, payment gateway enables you to accept uh, payments securely without involving the risk in handling the payment data. So uh, additionally, this solution enables you to deliver seamless payment experience to your consumer and uh, it also provides fraud management and payment security services hence allowing the merchants to securely accept payments from the customers there so now let me take you to the web store front end for the uh, customer workflow scenario so right now i'm at the uh, web store front end, front end as you can see right now and i have added one product into cart that is the cubes atr and the quantity is one and it's for 23 dollars now uh, what I need to do is I just need to select my shipping method and then I'll be tapping on the next button or uh, at the uh, Magento's checkout page now on the review and payment section uh, here you can see that uh, on the left hand side under the payment method we have the cyber source secure acceptance by web pool so this is the cyber source payment gateway that we need to select so I'll just tap on it and uh, basically this brings up this uh, place order button thereafter and on the right hand side as well uh, you can see that uh, we have our order summary with the shipping rate as fixed and the order total as 28 dollars now i'll be tapping the place order button and this would navigate us basically from the shopping cart page uh, to this particular uh, what we say as the cyber source uh, payment gateway as you can see right now so here you can see that on the right hand side uh, our order is for 28 dollars and on the left hand side we have the billing information now let me scroll down and here, uh, here we are having our shipping information and lastly we have our payment details where we need to choose our card enter the card number its expiry and the cvn number and then tap on the pay to make a payment using the uh, cyber source payment gateway for the amazon 2 platform so here i'll be selecting the card type as visa i'll be entering a demo card number right now and then i'll be uh, choosing uh, the expiry date uh, and lastly i'll be entering my cvn number now thereafter i'll just tap on the pay button and now you can see that the uh, order has been placed so let me tap here on this particular order number and uh, let's check uh, the details of the order so here we are having the order and on the right hand side under the payment method here you can see that uh, the payment method that was used by the customer is cyber source uh, secure acceptance by webcool and the credit card type was visa the credit card number and the process amount is us 28 dollars so uh, basically this is uh, the uh, customer workflow and after this order has been placed uh, the admin 
uh, can see the place order details with the cyber source payment gateway and uh, for that uh, I'll I'll just I'll just take you to the admin backend panel first and then we'll be navigating through sales and orders uh, from the admins dashboard so here I'm at the uh, back end of the uh, Magento 2 web store and I'll be entering my username password and tapping the sign in button so as to log into my admin uh, account there for my web store and here I am at my dashboard right now so to check the order there that uh, used uh, the uh, cyber source payment uh, gateway there for that I'll navigate through sales and then orders so now I'm at the orders section here uh, wherein we'll be able to see all of the orders that have been placed within the Magento 2 web store so here's our demo uh, 506 uh, order number so uh, the admin can tap here under the actions column on the view link button so as to see the order information so I've just tapped that up so here's the uh, order details uh, for the order number 506 that we just uh, placed on the web store uh, front end uh, here's the order number 506 that we just placed for $28 using the cyber source secure acceptance by webcool now let me take you back so here the admin can check the details and can check the uh, payment information for the placed order as you can see here, here we have the uh, uh, cyber source secure acceptance by webcool credit card type credit card number processed amount and the transaction id as well and the order was placed using the uh, us dollars now uh, after checking the order the admin can basically generate the invoice and uh, this can be done manually uh, so to generate the invoice uh, the admin uh, just needs to click on the invoice button here on the top and that will generate the invoice for this particular order so now we are on the new invoice page here and uh, to create an invoice uh, we just need to tap uh, on the submit invoice button at the very last of this particular page so here you can see that our payment and shipping methods are visible all right the invoice has been created for this particular order using that use the uh, cyber source payment gateway now let me tap on the invoices so here we are on the invoices on the invoice uh, for this particular order let me tap the view link under the actions column and that way we'll be able to check our invoice for this particular order now here we are basically on the uh, invoice page right now as you can see so this is uh, the invoice for uh, for the items that have been uh, purchased by the customer and here we are having $28 so apart from being the uh, what we say as the invoice for this particular order the admin can also uh, manually generate the credit memo for the order and uh, for that uh, what he needs to do he needs to again uh, navigate through sales then orders and then he needs to uh, view the uh, particular order and after that he needs to uh, go back to the uh, he needs to go to the invoice uh, section uh, for the order and uh, thereafter he needs to tap here on the credit memo button so let me tap on the credit memo button and uh, this would uh, start initiating the online refund for the particular order and after tapping the credit memo we'll be taken to the uh, credit page uh, the credit memo page so here we are so uh, here we are on the uh, credit memo page uh, or uh, the new memo for the order number uh, 230 for the invoice 230 and here we are having the payment details visible and uh, the shipping charges were five dollars and uh, the product was for 23 dollars as you can see here on the right hand side now i'll just come back to the bottom there and uh, here uh, the admin just needs to uh, tap on the uh, refund offline or the online button so basically the admin needs to tap here on the refund button to initiate the refund so we have created the uh, credit memo and now whenever the admin uh, basically refunds the amount to the customer uh, then he can at that time check the credit memo here and uh, as you can see here and he can also tap on the uh, view button to view the details regarding the uh, refund that the admin has made now uh, apart from that uh, uh, the admin can also go to the transactions section here to see all the transactions so uh, for that let me tap here on the transactions 
so here you can see that uh, we have a number of transactions here uh, two transactions basically uh, one was for the uh, capture and one was for the authentication purposes there so uh, so uh, these transactions can also be checked uh, by the uh, store admin by logging into his uh, uh, cyber cyber source uh, uh, account so for that he just needs to log into his cyber source account here uh, by uh, entering his organization ID username and the password thereafter he can tap the login button and then he na can navigate through the transaction management and then transactions to check the complete uh, transactions that have been done by the various customers and now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let me show you what different uh, configuration options are there uh, for the admin and how the admin would be able to initially configure this particular module so for that I'll just take you back and from here we'll be navigating through uh, stores and then uh, we'll go to uh, stores then configuration so uh, now I'll just navigate uh, through uh, what we call as uh, stores then now uh, go to configuration and on the uh, configuration page uh, we just need to uh, navigate through uh, I'll just show you where we need to go we need to go to the sales uh, section under that we have the payment methods so we'll just tap on the payment methods and uh, so we can right now see all of the uh, what we say as the payment method that are there within our store so we just need to uh, navigate to the uh, payment method uh, that's the cyber source security acceptance by web code as you can see here on the uh, configuration page for the payment methods so let's go through each of these uh, options one by one and let's see how we can configure this particular uh, payment plugin in the first place so uh, the very first option that we have is to enable or disable this particular payment method uh, for uh, being displayed at the checkout time to the customers so choosing a yes would display otherwise choosing a no would disable this particular uh, plugin from your website then we have the title so basically the cyber source secure acceptance by web cool mm -hmm. this payment method uh, title that you enter here would be visible to the customers at the checkout time so uh, let show you the same at the web store front end so uh, basically this is how the uh, payment title would be visible to the customers at the time of checkout on the uh, review and payment section here so under the payment method you will be able to see the cyber source secure acceptance by web pool so according to your own need you can basically enter the title that should be visible to your customers and uh, after setting up the title you need to uh, have uh, the keys and the other things so basically for the merchant id transaction key profile id secret key and the access key uh, you can basically uh, check the user guide of this particular module and i'll be attaching that particular section uh, link as well so that uh, you can go there within the user guide itself to check how to generate the merchant id transaction id profile id secret key and the access key by first uh, uh, logging in by first registering yourself at the cyber source and then uh, creating and generating these keys so for that you just need to check our user guide all of the details are basically given there uh, step by step to how to basically create these things so uh, basically you need to go to this uh, cyber uh, cyber source uh, uh, what we say as the web so, uh, web page and there you need to uh, enter your cyber so source merchant id so basically the cyber source merchant id is uh, something uh, uh, that effectively uh, uh, registers your account uh, with the company itself and uh, you'll be needing this uh, merchant id whenever you are identifying to them and in the code that you write or any other spoken communications that you have with the cyber source itself so for that you can just set this up as per your requirement and you just need to enter your first name last name company name website business email phone number country zip code and after that you just need to tap on the create account button thereafter after you've created your uh, account you just need to log in uh, within the uh, cyber source itself by entering your organization ID username password and thereafter you will be logged into your uh, cyber source account and then uh, you'll be able to get your merchant ID transaction profile secret access keys and the IDs as well so uh, 
so just check our user guide for the same for uh, creating these things so uh, basically it's, it has a, a very uh, less amount of uh, what we say as configurations just you need to enable set the title and rest is done by all of the um, or what we say as a merchant ID profile ID transition keys uh, secret access and uh, keys and uh, so you just need to check them within our user guide itself then we have the test mode so you can choose this as a yes or a no if you choose this as a no then uh, this particular module will work will be working in the production mode otherwise choose a yes uh, to set it in the development mode for testing purposes then you just need to enter the gateway url test gateway url and these two uh, urls the gate and the test uh, uh, gateway urls can be checked uh, within the uh, user guide itself so uh, just check that out uh, within the user guide itself and after that you have the new order status so whenever an order has been placed uh, using the uh, cyber source uh, payment gateway and when the order has been placed uh, what should the new order status be so basically you have set it as you can set it as, set it as pending processing or suspected fraud so for now we have chosen it as processing so whenever a customer makes uh, a payment using this particular payment gateway uh, the order status would be visible to the uh, web store admin as processing and lastly we have the redirect message basically and uh, this redirect message is for the customers uh, while uh, redirecting them to the cyber source secure acceptance website for making the payment so this was the basic configuration for the cyber source uh, secured acceptance by webpool uh, plugin so now let me take you to the web store front end and uh, so here you just need to check your payment method and uh, thereafter you just need to tap here on the place order button and this will navigate you to the uh, cyber source so here you can see the redirection message was there uh, that we just talked about and uh, here you can see the billing shipping information and the payment delay details at the uh, cyber source end so you just need to you choose your credit uh, you choose your uh, card type enter your card number so I'll just enter my uh, test one so and uh, thereafter I'll be uh, entering my expiration date for my card and the CDN number and lastly I'll just tap on the pay button to make a payment for this particular order and after the order has been placed you'll be redirected to the store once again and then the customer just can check his uh, order that has been placed uh, to check the details and here you can see that uh, under the payment method we have the cyber, cyber source secure acceptance by webcool to get the credit card type the credit card number and the process amount for the particular order so uh, that was much about the cyber source payment extension for the mission to two platform and i hope it helped you out so uh, for the configuration part for the keys and the other uh, uh, urls there for the test url and the uh, main url and uh, the ids and the other things that are there uh, within the configuration settings uh, i'll just show you that so uh, let me go to the cyber sec all right we are here on the cyber source secure acceptance by web pool so uh, to get the merchant id transaction key profile id secret key access key and the test mode and the gateway url and the test gateway url you just need to navigate uh, to our user guide and i'll just uh, add that link within the description section itself and uh, thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions queries or suggestions regarding this particular plugin then you can always get back to us at support at the letter webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead